What is going on you guys? We went to over 100 garage sales this morning and we found a lot of good stuff. We're going to show you exactly what we found to make over a thousand dollars in profit. We had a great time. Here's a clip of Kaya I'm meeting some new friends, but let's move right into what we found today. First off, of course we found some sports cards. At first I thought this was junk. We paid $5 for this box and there was a lot of like older cards like these right here. Um, but once we dug through this thing a little bit, we ended up finding around four to $500 worth of cards. And we're gonna show you that right now. We ended up getting a Dwayne Wade rookie, a bunch of Jordans, just fun cards that'll sell for five to $10 all day long. And for paying $5 for this box, you just can't beat it. This is a Peyton Manning numbered card right here. Tim Duncan jersey card, Allen Iverson Sky Onyx, another Jordan, that's a fun one. And then a Roberto Alomar. As far as the best ones, we got this Hooper Stars Shaq card. This sells for like 70 bucks. This Tim Duncan will sell anywhere from 20 to $40. This Jordan's a $100 card. It's got Gary Payton on the back of it. And then this is a reprint of 1995 or 96. I was shocked when I saw this card sells for $200 to $250. I could not believe it. I had a little slight wishful thinking going on when I saw that there's $10,000 ones from 85 and I thought that maybe this could have been it, but I saw the shiny chrome on it and obviously it's a reprint, but still heck for $5, you can't beat turning that into 200. And then the last one, we got a Tiger Woods rookie card SGC8. This is the coolest one in my opinion, other than the Jordan, just a sweet tall boy, great find. Moving on into the next best thing, we got this box of camera goodies, just miscellaneous for $10. I'm gonna show you guys one of these cameras that already sold today. This camera right here, this Canon PowerShot, I'm telling you guys, like the last video, keep your eyes out for these. This is a newer model, it has a battery and the SD card in it, sold already for $220. This was a $10 box of cameras, and I still have these two to sell. I mean, this one right here should net me around $150. This is a Canon, an older one. This one only 20, 25 bucks or so, but still for $10, turning that into three, 400 bucks, that's a huge win. Sticking with the cameras, we got another box here from the same garage sale. This was $20. And this one ended up having anything from a camera itself, several lenses, and even whatever the heck this thing is, I'm going to have to do some research here. But I mean, for 20 bucks, this one will definitely make, you know, $200 at minimum as well. Definitely a huge win. Always buy these cameras. Keep your eye out for cyber shots, power shots, the little compact cameras. And then anything Sony or Canon will usually do you well. Moving on into some of the clothes, we're going to try to go rapid fire here. We got this Kansas University of Kansas Jayhawk sweatshirt crew neck for $2. This Los Angeles Lakers official team uh, finals merch apparel, whatever it may be, paid $2 on this as well. Got this vintage University of Oklahoma sweatshirt. I think this was only a dollar. This is an Adidas Climacool quarter zip, paid $5 on this one. University of Hawaii t-shirt. This was a throw in just because it was a $51, so they gave it to me for free. Paid 50 cents for this old early 2000s Nike hoodie. Paid 50 cents for this one as well. This is just a, a regular gray Nike hoodie. And then we got this vintage Disney World t-shirt from the early 2000s as well for probably 50 cents. For this Carhartt flannel, we got a few of these, paid $5 each on them. Got this gi, I had no clue what these were called, but it has the pants and the white belt for karate, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong. But we paid $2 for this, this thing sells for like 70 bucks. A couple more Carhartt flannels. Got this embroidered Super Bowl champion hoodie of the New York Giants, paid $2 on this one. An old mobile racing NASCAR full zip uh, windbreaker. Paid $5 on this Royals Majestic jacket as well. Paid five bucks for this University of Kansas old sweatshirt. And then this polo quarter zip. Next up, we got these Carhartt bibs. These things sell for a lot. Paid $7 for this. Shouldn't add around 60, 70 bucks out of it. 
On the note of clothes, we paid 150 bucks for this entire box of Nike and Lululemon leggings slash shorts. So a lot of women's clothing, but I mean, we paid around $4 a pair at the end of the day um, with how many pieces are in here. A little more for the Lulu, just because those sell for a lot more, but should be able to make a lot of money off this, probably around $20, $25 a pair on the leggings. We got seven pairs of Levi's and a pair of old early 2000s Adidas track pants. We only paid $20 for all this, so around $3 a pair or so. Should be able to make around $20, $15, $20, $25 a pair on these Levi's. When I tell you guys to buy this old expired printer ink, I am not joking. This stuff sells instantly. I paid $15 bucks for all this ink, and it expired in 2013. Should be able to make over $50, $60, $70 on all this stuff. So at the end of the day, it's a huge win. Most people throw this stuff away or sell it for $2, $3 a box. So I'll do that all day long. Always buy these Wii games that are anything Mario, Zelda, Pokemon, and Wii Sports. Anything of those, buy them all day. If I'm forgetting any others, drop a comment down below. I don't know everything, um, so, so I always love finding new things that I can buy and flip to make, make extra money online. But if you list these things, overnight I promise you they'll sell if you list them for $23.99. I sell probably one every two weeks of these every single time I find them. Usually pay a couple bucks a piece, wake up and they're sold. Or they're sold within 30 minutes if you list them during the day. Went to a garage sale and this guy repos cars for a living. <laughs> so he got these uh, OEM stereos outside of the cars. One goes to an old Ford truck and one goes to an old Chrysler. Paid $10 for both of these together. So should be able to get 50 to 70 bucks a piece out of these. Next up, we got this foldable jelly comb keyboard. These will sell all day for around 25 bucks. And then we got three of these Logitech webcams. Paid $3 each on these, $5 on the jelly comb. These will sell for around 15 bucks a piece. If any of you guys sell shoes online on eBay, tell me if you've been having trouble selling them. I've been running sales on them all day and it, they just won't move like they used to. But you still can't turn down these boosts. I mean, it was $5 a pair, you know, these are easy all day, 30 bucks a piece, if not more. But you guys tell me if you've had problems struggling with selling shoes recently online. I've been trying to stay away from them, but stuff like this, you just can't beat it. On the same topic as shoes, Doc Martens, I have no trouble selling these. Paid 10 bucks for these, sold them 60 bucks overnight. Surprise, surprise, we got two more Dyson vacuums. Paid $60 for both of these together, so 30 a piece. Of course, I'm gonna part these things out and make a few hundred bucks on each one of them. A few other cool things that we got. We got another stereo piece for a car, obviously. Got this for a couple bucks. Paid a dollar for this NBA Finals uh, pint glass in the Golden State Warriors. I never buy stuff like this, but this was a cool one for a couple bucks. You know, I like selling sports stuff, and this should sell for around $20 or so. Baseball and softball bats, especially this time of season, these are great for eBay. Paid $5 a piece on these except for the Louisville Slugger one and this Easton softball bat. Paid $10 a piece on those ones. Already sold the Mariucci for $60, bucks, another Easton for $30. So already made my money back and some on these. But shout out to J-Ride Flips. I watch him and learn a ton about what to sell on eBay. And these are one of the things he always has to keep an eye out for. Only paid $10 for this old Nike Kevin Durant backpack. This is a great piece. They sell for $60, $65 all day online. I know they're old, uh, but there's still a lot of Kevin Durant fans out there. Paid $10 for this old pool table light. It's a Miller Light Vintage 90s one. It's got the date on it up here. This should sell for over $100 all day long, even though the lights don't work on the inside. A couple pairs of these combat boots. These will sell for around $60 to $65 a pair. Only paid $15 for the both of them. These items still shock me on how they actually sell. These things are so old, but an old Sony receiver and Sony under the sink radio, these sell for $40 to $75 and I got them for five bucks a piece. Paid $10 for this brand new Coleman grill. This is a discontinued version and it sells for 200 bucks. On top of that one, we also got an older beat up model. I think I only paid 10 or five or $10 for this one. These Coleman grills are great sales. They'll sell all day between 40 and 50 bucks, even though they're used. So, and they're not very heavy, so if you can pick them up, grab them. And lastly, we got another sewing machine. This is an old teal one, paid $10 for this. Should be able to get you know close to $100 on eBay or so. 
And that is everything that we picked up in this garage sale haul. I really appreciate you guys' support watching these videos. If you guys find anything else at garage sales that you didn't see in this or something that you haven't seen, let me know with a comment down below. I'm always looking for new things to find at garage sales. I try to buy anything with a really fast sell through rate. So most of the items you're gonna see here today are items that sell really fast on eBay. So for instance, if there's 100 of them listed, 200 of them have sold within the last 90 days. That's what you wanna look for. A lot of times people get caught up, you know, Gary Vee's a legend in this, but you know, he was all about the mug life and buying, you know, coffee mugs. Those do not sell fast. <laughs> there's millions of coffee mugs listed online and rarely any sell. And if they do sell, it's for like $5. So try to stick with things that sell really fast and cameras, you know, Dyson parts, sports cards, whatever it may be. I try to be as fast as I can. Video games like the Wii one I showed you earlier. But go to garage sales in your area, guys. There's tons of money out there. We did all of this today with from 7 a.m. and got home before 2 pay 2 p.m. There's so many things you can find out there listed all the same night, and I've already sold over 20 items. You know, there's so much out there that you guys can make off of this, and I hope you guys take this video, gain some knowledge on it, and go to your local area and start buying some stuff from garage sales. We'll have two more videos coming in the next couple of weeks from sports card shows. We were at one in Oklahoma last weekend and at McPherson yesterday. So those were great shows. Uh, I look forward to showing you guys some uh, clips from those. But thank you guys for tuning into this video. It's always a blast filming them. If you guys want to see more of a POV going to these garage sales, let me know. If you guys would tune into a whatnot stream, tune down below or comment down below for me. But thanks again. Please subscribe, leave a like and comment on this video. And I appreciate you guys once again. Peace.